While we had laid a strong foundation, it was now time to help us move forward with the needs we identified during our scope and sequence work. All of a sudden, with a multitude of projects that needed to be managed effectively across multiple divisions, as a result, I decided to implement CODA, a powerful project management tool that centralizes information and tasks and fosters seamless collaboration. It provides a flexible platform to track diverse projects from curriculum redesign to standards alignment, ensuring everyone remains aligned and these critical projects see success. With the help from our elementary tech coordinator, Ben Summerton, we consolidated our department's assets into a streamlined workflow. To help the department understand how all the different projects work together for a common goal, I introduced the systems thinking approach. The department got to see how we will be tackling these different projects together by examining how these projects interact to create a whole, by zooming in and zooming out. Zooming in to focus on what has happened or is happening in the system, then zoom out to discover if there is a relationship between events. We answered the following questions. How do these projects interact with each other to achieve the overall goal? How does one project of the system impact other projects? Are there specific examples where this interdependence is evident? What are some potential consequences of neglecting or overlooking the interconnectedness of these projects in the system? Are there specific examples? These questions were designed to encourage teachers to think about the big picture and the interconnectedness of our projects. By exploring how projects interact and impact each other, our department can start developing a systems thinking mindset, which means considering the entire system, not just individual parts. This is important because changes in one project can often ripple throughout the system, affecting other projects in unexpected ways. By analyzing these connections and potential consequences, our department would be better equipped to make decisions that optimize the overall success of all our projects. Along with the projects we identified that we needed to work on, we also felt that we needed to collect more data from our stakeholders as well as other schools on what they are doing with their STEM program. Data collection included visiting different schools, administering a survey to other schools who have STEM programs, and a parent copy, a listening session where parents could contribute ideas, perspectives, and aspirations for the evolution of STEM education at our school through engaging conversations with fellow parents and students. With her experience in data collection, Melissa Trainer, our middle school's math specialist and STEM lead, helped me to create a survey that could collect data on what other schools are doing with their STEM programs. Exploring program scope, collaboration strategies, scheduling, course offerings, and other aspects of the program. The data from the 22 international schools who completed the survey helped us to identify program best practices and ultimately gave us a roadmap for improving our own program. We also visited three schools. First was Taipei American School's Tech Cube, an innovation-friendly five-story facility that features open, flexible spaces that function like labs and creative spaces found in industries that focus on real-world, authentic projects. We also visited the United World College Southeast Asia Dover campus, specifically for their Ideas Hub, a space designed to spark students' creativity and innovation, including woodworking, crafting, textiles, prototyping, and coding, with their STEM program highly focused on creative problem solving and design thinking. And last, we visited ITE College Central, a post-secondary school that offers courses in electronics and information, communication technology, and engineering. Combined with industry partnerships, ITE College Central provides real-world learning experiences with unique training facilities, including a real Boeing 737 aircraft. During our parent coffee session, we focused on gathering parent input on the future of STEM education. Parents discussed their visions for their children's success, brainstormed approaches to prepare them for a changing world, and envisioned what an ideal STEM program at SAS would look like. They even playfully considered how to invest in the program itself. With all the data we collected, including data from the previous year during our STEM curriculum review, I created summaries that highlighted key themes. Here are the key themes that we will focus on to help us move towards our ideal state for the STEM program. Industry partnerships. Establish connections with industry partners for internships and real-world project-based learning opportunities. Real-world applications. Integrate practical applications and problem-solving contexts into the STEM curriculum. Inclusive STEM program. Create accessible entry points diverse course offerings, flexible scheduling, and welcoming environments for all students for STEM. Strong STEM Pathways 
strengthen K-12 program connections, create clear pathways, streamline after-school programs, and explore project-based learning for a more vertically aligned and engaging STEM experience. Relevant and flexible STEM curriculum. Content that reflects industry trends and equips students with in-demand skills within the STEM fields. Supporting STEM integration. Provide teachers with increased resources, manageable implementation plans, and professional development on integrated curriculum for successful STEM integration. Investing in STEM teachers. Prioritize attracting and retaining qualified teachers with ongoing professional development opportunities to enhance their STEM teaching skills and create a more inclusive learning environment. Strong leadership commitment. Essential to provide clear direction, resources, and ongoing support for planning, implementing, and sustaining initiatives for successful STEM education.